Hello and welcome to the stories of country music. Today we're looking at Cody Johnson's song, Dear Rodeo. Now, Cody Johnson is from Texas, Texas born and bred, music roots in Texas. He was a big thing in Texas before mainstream knew anything about him. He had a release uh, in 2018 that didn't make it onto radio. It was called On My Way to You, and it made it up to number 13. Uh, that was back in 2018, and he just now, in the early part of 2022, had his first number one. He had a couple of songs in between that didn't do all that well, but he has his first number one called Till You Can't, and like I said, just went to number one. So... There was a time, like I said, when he was big in Texas before anybody knew who he, who he was. And the, the subject of the rodeo, the idea of the rodeo, which this song is written about, weaved in and out of Cody Johnson's life ever since he was a youngster. And here's the story behind it. First of all, he sang this song and wrote it specifically for the Houston Rodeo. What's so big about the Houston Rodeo? It's the biggest rodeo and livestock show in the entire world. I think for that one to two week period, 10 days, however long it is, over 2 million people come through the rodeo and the livestock show. And every night they have a concert inside of a stadium. And Cody Johnson was able to perform back in 2017 in front of that state, in front of 70,000 people in that stadium in his home state of Texas. So that's a big thing. Performing at the Houston Rodeo is humongous. Big deal, especially if you're a Texas guy, uh, but absolutely humongous for anybody. That's special. But another thing that is special, and I, I learned this by watching the Cody Johnson Deer Rodeo documentary on Amazon. I learned a little bit more about Cody Johnson and his life, and I knew the rodeo was not important to him, but I just didn't really know why. And I found out this is why. See, Cody Johnson wanted to be a professional bull rider. From a, as a youngster, he wanted to be a professional bull rider and compete in rodeos for a living. Now, when he was a teenager, he and his buddies started doing just that. They started riding bulls, going through these amateur rodeos, and competing. And that's what Cody Johnson desperately wanted to do with his life. The problem is, over time, he realized he wasn't good enough. In his late years in high school, where you start realizing you have to do something with your life and maybe your dreams aren't going to work out, that's when Cody realized he wasn't going to make it as a professional bull rider. The problem was some of his buddies that had been riding with him, his closest friends, were making it. They went on to be professional bull riders, still riding in the circuit even today. He said he got to a point of such bitterness and jealousy and envy that he he dropped everything having to do with rodeos. He couldn't even watch the professional bull riding circuits and the rodeos. He couldn't even watch them on TV because it brought such angst, such negative emotion to him. He was never really able to get by that. Now, he did start singing country music and getting into that, but he actually got started drinking, uh, hanging out with the wrong types of friends, really going down a dark road. And he realized that and kind of started seeking out mentors in his life to, to help him. And one of the mentors that he found started asking him about the rodeo and why he was so bitter about the rodeo and what could he do to get past that? What could he do to basically forgive the rodeo for passing him by? That's when this song came. Cody said, this song, Dear Rodeo, he was just talking to his mentor and the mentor said, what would you like to tell the rodeo? And these lines of the song started coming out. And Cody says he's never had lines from a song fall out just onto him so quickly and immediately like this song did right here. So Dear Rodeo is a personal story for Cody. It's basically a love song to Cody. It's a breakup song or to, to, the, to the rodeo. It's a breakup song by Cody to the rodeo. And you hear it in the lyrics of how, how, you, how these actual words could be spoken to a woman. Uh, during a breakup, and they would mean the same thing. This is Cody pouring his heart out, trying to get past what he felt was a failure of not being able to become a professional bull rider. So that is why him singing this song at the Houston Rodeo is huge. His life went full circle, and this is the love story that he sang, and he got to sing it at the Houston Rodeo, the biggest freaking rodeo in the entire world. You cannot tell me that is not a cool story, and that's why I really like this video that we're going to watch. It's got 
uh, footage of him actually singing, I think, at the 2017 uh, Houston Rodeo. Now, I just found out, I just read, that the, he's, he performed at the uh, 2022 Houston Rodeo. He became the th made history by becoming only the third person to sell out the opening night concert. You know who else sold it out? George Strait, Garth Brooks, Cody Johnson. The only, only three performers to sell out the opening night of the Houston Rodeo concert. That is a cool story. Boy, I love that story. Let's get into the video. Before we do, if you don't mind, would you please like and subscribe? Sometimes I don't get to these reviews right quickly in the video because there's a story I want to tell you about the song. And that was a great story. Here we go. Your rodeo, Cody Johnson. This last song I'm going to play you tonight. The NRG that was written Stadium. From the, uh, That's the stadium. The bottom of my heart. For those of you that don't know a lot about me, I used to rodeo and I thought that's what I was going to do. And uh, when you leave something like that behind, even though this is as good as it is, you still wonder sometimes. And uh, I wrote this song with my buddy Dan Couch for this new record, and uh, we wrote it for this moment here tonight. And uh, it's my love letter to the sport of rodeo. It's called Dear Rodeo. Here we go. Mm. Live, 70,000 plus people. Dear Rodeo, I'd be lying if I tried to tell you I don't think about you. Mm. Oh, that's good. After all the miles and the wild nights that we've been through, Lord knows we had a few. Like it's talking to a woman. Dear Rodeo, I'd like to say that I took the reins and rode away. No regrets, no left unsaid, just turn the page. Oh, but you know better, babe. Between the almost atoms and broken bones, the dream of a bubble yes. I'll never put yes. on, I'm jaded. Yes. you go so dear rodeo i tried like hell to that's tell great myself it was that's great watching his wife walk in there with him tied with all my might i just couldn't hang on and that's hard to hang yeah at all. yeah Good. But somehow the highs outweigh the lows, and I do it all again, even though we both know I still have to let you go. How about that? How good is that? Could you imagine singing this in front of 70,000 people? Yes. like to think you miss me too but i know you don't that line is amazing all oh, but that don't change the past and that don't change the truth i'm still in love with you dear rodeo thank you very much houston Couldn't be more proud.
Chills, I tell you. Absolute chills. Could not be more proud of that guy. Could not be more proud of that guy. He says something in the documentary about how in the doc after he got done writing, uh, he was supposed to just get on his horse and kind of gallop around the stadium. He said he had so much adrenaline. He had so much going through him. Boy, he just kicked it in high gear, threw his hat in the crowd. None of that was planned, just rode around the stadium. Could not be more proud of Cody Johnson, and here's why. He had heartache in his life. He faced it with music, wrote a love letter to the, to the rodeo, got through it somehow, and has lived an amazing life since then. Now tell me, that's redemption, and that's what we all are looking for, and that's why we all love country music, because we see that in and out of country music every single day we're listening. Whew. I like that. If y'all don't mind, please like and subscribe. Cody Johnson, Dear Rodeo, love this video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Until next time, take care.